What is up everyone? This is Mo Gaming here and today I am going to show you how to get the best DNS settings for your PlayStation 4 in 2024. So let's get right into this. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into your settings and you want to go over into network. In here we're going to go into where it says set up internet connection. So we're going to do one of two things just in general first. If you can switch over from Wi-Fi over to LAN, it would be highly preferable to do so. LAN's much faster, more capable, more less prone to errors, I should say. So I would highly recommend you kind of doing that. If not, that's fine, we're gonna move on, but I just wanted to kind of say that. So choose whichever one, again, you can do. Uh, we're gonna go from there. Now, the thing you wanna do over here, you do not wanna do easy. We're gonna do custom tone setting up this internet connection settings. For the IP address, we're gonna keep it at automatic. For the DHCP host name, we're gonna do do not specify. In the DNS settings, this is where you're gonna change it from automatic into manual. Now. This is where the fun part comes. There's multiple different types of DNS settings. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for whatever is best for you to choose from there. Every region, city, area, country, etc., has a different slash better DNS that can be used. There's free and private ones as well. So just enough why mines are free that I'm going to be sharing. The one I have right now, which is the most widely used, is Google's, which is 8.8.8.8 for primary and 8.8.4.4 for secondary. You can change it to Cloudflare's as well, uh, which is 1.1.1.1, and secondary is 1.0.0.1. So you can see whichever one works best for you and essentially utilize that and go from there. But what I'm showing is usually the most generally accepted best one. But like I said, every region, area, city, state, country, province, whatever you want to call it is different and varies. So you can Google and find the best one for yourself or take the list that I'm providing and utilize that and get what you need. So yeah, that's basically it. Once you have this done, you're going to just basically press next. You're going to press automatic here. Do not use. And you're going to test the internet connection and you're going to be basically good to go. Allah, hopefully a lot of errors and issues would go away and you guys will be good to go and not have overall issues persist any longer. So yeah, that's basically it. If you guys still have any comments, questions, concerns, let me know in the comment section below. More than happy you guys out. If you guys overlooked this video, please smash that like button on the If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And that, we're going to be out. Peace.